Hi, my name is Tina Michelle Briggs and I am here to start a new series. It is called The Powers of Crystals and Tektites. So I am going to be taking you guys on a bit of a journey to teach you about all of the crystals and the tektites that I personally work with and what they do, how they can heal, what properties they have, how you can work with them, what do they look like, where do you find them. So today I'm starting out with a bang. We are starting with a very rare tektite that is called Agni Manatite. This tektite comes from Indonesia. And how does a tektite form? A tektite forms when a meteor crashes into the earth and it heats up the earth's surface so much that it becomes a liquid. And then once the liquid cools down, it gets hard and then it creates this gorgeous tektite. Um, so Agni Manatite is found in Indonesia. It is an extremely rare tektite because most of it can be found at the bottom of the ocean. It's not even all exposed yet. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is Agni Manatite in its rough, raw form. So this is what it looks like. This is a rather big piece. You can find smaller pieces that would be a little bit more affordable as well. But this is what it looks like. It's got kind of a bubbly surface. It's um, going to be black or gray, and you should be able to take a light and it will light up, which is kind of cool. So that is what it looks like in its rough, raw form. And so let's talk a little bit about what Agni Manatite is, what it does, what it means, what it represents, how to work with it. So uh, Agni in Sanskrit means pearl of divine fire. And so Agni was an Hindu god who represented fire, comets, the heat and fire of the sun, lightning, and um, yes, just the blazing hot sun is what I really think of whenever I think of the Hindu god Agni. Um, so what does this tektite do for us when we work with it? So first of all, it's going to spark desire. It's going to light that fire in us and make us really um, get on board with what our heart really wants. Um, it's going to aid in creation. So it's going to give you that spark of power in your creative field. It's going to help you really um, expand your mind and get you thinking about something and uh, helping you figure out different ways of doing something as well. It is going to activate the solar plexus. Your solar plexus sits between your heart and your lower chakras. So um, it's going to sit right here um, right above your belly button and it is going to help you with your um, its passion and your your control and all the things that make you strong um, solar plexus also is activated and represented by the sun which is also um, what the Agni the uh, Hindu God would represent as well as the blazing fiery sun and so we are going to also receive increased physical activity and strength when we work with this tektite. And it is um, helping us gain power in situations. So if we're going into a meeting or we're going into a situation where we might feel a little bit powerless, we can take a smaller piece of this and stick it in your, in your bra or in your pocket or maybe in your handbag or you could even wear it. So this is a beautiful piece of jewelry that's made from Agni Manatite. And so you can actually wear this. And so 
that will help you. You can tuck it in your shirt if you want to and um, let it touch your skin. I'm a strong believer that crystals are very um, strong whenever they are touching your skin. The vibration of them really soaks into your into your being whenever it's touching your skin. And so it also will increase your physical energy, your stamina, your strength. If you're a dancer or you are in a fitness competition or you're doing something where you need to be strong and physically active, this is going to be a great stone for you to work with. Um, it also helps give you ideas in different situations. So it's going to help you really get creative in coming up with ideas in situations and helping you um, grasp power in a situation as well. It also aids in spiritual awakenings. And so whenever you are trying to really tap into the other side of the veil and you're trying to tap into your spiritual side, the side of the unseen, the metaphysical, that's going to be a great stone for you to work with. I also have an Agni Manatite skull. And when we work with skulls, we know that that is um, representative of ancestors. And so you get ancestral knowledge by working with a skull. It also activates the Kundalini. And so that is your, your sexual desire, getting those, those juices flowing through your body and really waking you up. Think of a double serpent that starts from the bottom and slowly works their way all the way up, activating all of your chakras together, making you work really well and balanced. And so it's also going to be very grounding. If you are feeling like you're just kind of spacey or not paying attention, have a hard time paying attention, um, maybe you have some kind of attention deficit disorder, this would also be a great uh, ally for you. Um, it's also going to be protective. Are you getting bullied? Are you made to feel like you are not as powerful as you know you are? This is going to also be a great tool for you. It is also going to help you become divinely connected with a higher power outside of yourself. You can meditate with Agni Manatite by putting it on your solar plexus. It's going to help you spark your adventurous side and help you to really tap into some of the things that you've always possibly been a little bit scared of because you've been too wound tight or worried about situations, not wanting to step outside of that box. This tectite is going to help you with that. Um, it's also a major manifester right here. This stone is going to help you manifest your dreams at warp speeds. So you're definitely going to want to work with this for manifestation. It's going to help with becoming more adventurous and also it's going to help bring to you what your heart truly desires, what makes you happy, what lights your soul on fire, and also empowerment. By working with your solar plexus, you are going to learn to find your voice and your power and what really drives you. So work with this Agni Manatite, the Pearl of Divine Fire, and find your passion.